um, as the temple inauguration ceremony of Lord Sri Ram is approaching very soon on 22nd Monday uh, this January finally after the wait of more than five centuries and after the sacrifice and hard work and pain of so many people the Ram temple is finally coming up it's not it is not a small event it is a very big event why is it a very big event because so many people are invited so many celebrities are invited so there's a lot of people sharing it in social media well uh, are these the reasons <laughs> well certainly these are some reasons but uh, the, the, this is not the main reason the main reason is that now in India, whenever some people they talk of Lord Ram, they will get a place to see where Lord Ram was born. Well, the thing is, uh, well, okay, he was born in Ayodhya. Well, so what, right? What's was the big deal? Oh, what if Lord Ram was born in some other place? You know, so people would go to that place. What's the big deal there, right? But when we talk of Lord Ram and Ayodhya, we have to understand that we are not just talking of some place, okay? Ayodhya, Sri Ayodhya Dham is not just a materialistic place which you see in Uttar Pradesh, okay, in India. It is a replica of the spiritual world. Yes, it is a reflection or it is or you could say, you know, it's like literally the uh, extension, expansion of the Saket Dham which is there above the Vaik in the Vaikuntha planets in the spiritual world. So, Lord Ram is eternally residing there. Lord Ram, Sita Devi, Lakshman, uh, Bharat, Chatrughan, <coughs> they are all eternally residing in the Saket Dham, in the spiritual realm. But uh, places like Ayodhya, they will now act as an embassy. Okay, so you know what happens in India? There's US embassy, so if you go there, you know, you will get a feeling, oh, maybe I am in the US, right? <laughs> so similarly, now as this temple is coming up what will happen is many people many more people will come to know about Lord Ram and not just know but uh, they will also come to uh, they will get to know uh, and read and hear and experience you know and, and then thereby uh, get transformation in their lives because uh, in India uh, there are so many temples of Lord Ram Krishna you know Shiva but now it is like a specific place dedicated for Lord Ram where people can actually experience uh, transformation by uh, inculcating the uh, philosophies of the Ramayana in their hearts. So therefore, now as this temple is coming up, the inauguration is very close. So it is very important uh, for us to actually understand that not only is it important for us to make a temple for Lord Ram or you know make Ayodhya into a grand city uh, with all the infrastructure and all that's great by mercy of Lord Ram that's happening that's excellent that's very good but the ultimate objective of this temple will not be fulfilled until and unless each and every one of us they we try to inculcate the uh, personality the traits of Lord Ram the personality tra traits of Lord Ram if we don't do not do that then um, yeah it's a matter of time it will just become another place where you know people are going and visiting and they are coming back so now when I say uh, try to inculcate the principles of Lord Ram now, of course Lord Ram is non different from Vishnu himself he is supreme God himself uh, so we cannot imitate him it's not possible like for example when uh, the Samudra Dev was not giving the way to Lord Ram after he prayed for three days uh, to go to Lanka from uh, the <coughs> from Anushkoti then what happened Lord Ram he became angry and he just took his bow and with the Brahmastra he was about to dry out the entire Indian Ocean can you believe it so we cannot do that of course but <laughs> But the thing is, we, uh, we, we can still uh, try to follow in his footsteps because the Srimad Bhagavatam says 
Mahajanu yena gatasa panta, which means we cannot imitate the great personalities, but we can try to follow in their footsteps. This is very important because many times we feel that we need to do exactly what these personalities did uh, during their time, but that's not what it is. We have to see uh, our situation and try to um, see how we can act best in that situation. And for this, one thing is very important is you have to constantly, we have to read about Lord Ram. We have to read from the Ramayana, you know, the Valmiki Ramayana or the Ram Charit Manas. Uh, these two are very authentic sources, of course. And not just read, you know, some, oh yeah, today is Monday, today is Tuesday, I am reading, you know. Not like that, but we should try to read the Ramayana daily. And then not only just read the Ramayana superficially, you know, not just memorize shlokas and, you know, uh, chopais and all this, but we have to understand what the message of the Ramayana is and what is actually uh, the Ramayana's utility in my life. Okay, so Lord Ram behaved in a certain way, Sita Devi behaved in a certain way, Bharat behaved in a certain way, Shatrugan behaved in a certain way, Hanuman ji behaved in a certain way. So everybody, every character in the Ramayana is giving the message of sacrifice. If you see, everybody is sacrificing something uh, or the other for somebody or the other, right? If you see Dashrat Maharaj, uh, if you see Lord Ram himself, he, he starts this, you know, he sacrificed his kingdom uh, for 14 years and uh, all the royal luxuries you know, of his life, you know, just because his father had given a word to his stepmother. Okay, okay. And then uh, if you see Sita Devi, she also, she also sacrificed all her uh, materialistic, you know, pleasures of staying in the palace, you know, uh, just to go with her husband, right? <coughs> and then we have Bharat Maharaj, right? When he came to know that this uh, conspiracy was hatched by his own mother, Keke, and then he also said, you know, I will stay uh, like Lord Ram. I'll stay like my elder brother, uh, wearing tree bark and, you know, sleeping, uh, in, in the ground, you know, in Nandi Gram, in, in an ashram, I will not stay here in the palace. And the Lakshman, he did not sleep for 14 years because uh, his mother Sumitra told him that Lord Ram is so beautiful. If you keep seeing him, then what happens is uh, you will forget. Okay. And so don't look at his face and don't sleep. Sleep is the killer of... <laughs> it's the killer of your seva, service to Lord Ram. So therefore, do not sleep. This is my instruction to you. And also do not look at his face. <laughs> so therefore, you uh, you read the Ramayana, but also read it under the bona fide guidance of a spiritual master, a guru, as Lord Krishna says in the Gita. Now the, uh, the guru is very important. Uh, the guru's presence, the guru's guidance is vital for everybody in their spiritual life. So therefore, uh, once you do this, then uh, you can also visit Ayodhya. That that will also be a great boost for you to take darshan of Lord Ram. And once you go there, you can please pray to Lord Ram that you know, not just oh give me this, give me that. You know the long list starts once we go to the temple. Well, we can do that certainly, nothing wrong. But once we do that, we should also pray to him that maybe, maybe, uh, please bless me that I can come close to you. Please bless me that I can follow in your footsteps. Please bless me that I can also serve great personalities like you did. Like if you see Lord Ram, when he was in Vanvas, uh, he went to all the great rishis, you know, he visited Atri Rishi and he, uh, you know, even before that Vishwamitra Muni came. And then Vashishta was always there. And then there was uh, the great sage Sutikshan and so many, so many great personalities, right? Sita Devi met uh, Devi Anasuya and it was a beautiful conversation between uh, Devi Sita and Devi Anasuya. So, what is important is that you pray because Lord Ram is Maryada Purushottam. He is the one who uh, is teaching us through his own example of how to be a good human being, ideal human being. Okay, he is the only ideal person. Nobody can be like him. He has set the 
barometer the benchmark very high right <laughs> nobody can imitate and pretend that oh yeah i am like ram forget about saying you know i am better than ram that is not possible but his behavior his ideals his uh, personality his uh, words his actions they will always be a guiding uh, source of light and inspiration for everybody and when now we pray sincerely to lord ram then he will bless us in a way that we can uh, be a good human being and also elevate our consciousness spiritually and of course at the end the biggest way to elevate your consciousness is by chanting the name of ram as the vishnu sahasrama says shri ram ram rame ti rame rame manorame Sahasranama Tattulyam Rama Nama Varanani. Who is telling this? Somebody who has authority on the Vedic scriptures, who is none other than Lord Shiva, is telling this to Devi Parvati that if you chant the name of Ram once, O Rama Devi, it is like it is as good as chanting the names of Lord Vishnu one thousand times. Okay, so imagine you chant the name of Ram once. You have chanted. 1000 vishnu names just just think of it how powerful it is you know and every every name of vishnu krishna ram is as good as them it is even more powerful the name the holy name of lord ram is more powerful than lord ram himself okay so if, if there is somebody who is more powerful than lord ram himself and that if if there is somebody that is lord ram's holy name okay so therefore you need to understand that anytime you have any kind of problem, difficulties, challenges, tribulations, any bad dasha comes, whatever happens, just sit and chant the name of Ram. Okay. So therefore, when this happen, when, when difficulties come, if you chant the name of Ram, you will get empowerment and you will be able to make the best decision for that particular situation. Okay. So chant the name of Ram, read the Ramayan, go to Ayodhya and uh, associate yourself with the spiritual community uh, under the guidance of your guru and of course pray to him so by doing these five things you can exponentially rise in your consciousness okay uh, and then you can actually get benefited from the new ram temple or else it will just be another place that hindus visit every year right Thank you very much for your patience. If you are new, then please subscribe to the channel. And if you want a consultation from me, you will find the website down in the description section. Lord Ram is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will surely find him on 22nd or later. Thank you so much. Jai Shri Ram.